You ain't got to be told twice, do you? <laughs> you grab the other race. There might be a long spade shovel somewhere too. Somebody hadn't grabbed it yet. There's a rake over there. There you go. Easy. Chris, right? Chris? Okay, yes. Yeah, there you go. All right. So we'll just start loosening it up? Yeah, you don't have to don't have to go down too far, just maybe two or three inches. Mm -hmm. And just take it down and flip it over, just like that. All right, cool. Just go all the way down through there and we'll get that tiller in here after all that's done and Get it tilled up even some more. Get it ready to plant. So Chris, yeah. here I am standing here watching you do the work. Okay. You know what my dad has nicknamed me through the years? He called me Blister. He said, I show up after the work's done. <laughs> Not <laughs> while the work's being done. Actually, well, y'all like that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm waiting on a tool. As soon as I get a tool, I'm gonna hit, hey, hey, I'll grab yeah. this. It'll be at least something. <laughs> okay, break it up. So Chris, what yeah. are we doing here, man? Man, we're just loosening up this dirt here. Yeah, and just getting it ready for, uh, I guess, to be tilled. Yeah, we got an electric tiller over there. It's small enough to where it's, and light enough to where you can pick it up and move it around a little bit. Yeah. Not one of those gas ones where it's really, really heavy. Hey, I'll take <laughs> one of those. Take this one right here. Oops. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, this is a little bit better. So Chris, why are you down here volunteering today? Well, they just asked me to come and uh, volunteer. So, you know, when God calls, they say, just, you know, just do it. Yeah. Just be ready. Yeah. And uh, I'm here and I'm ready. Good, man. Mm -hmm. Why is it important to, to volunteer in your community? I mean, you don't have to be down here doing this. Well, it really just feels good being a part of something and serving a purpose. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's always a. Uh, I always I like to imagine too. Sometimes the people that we're going to be helping, like right here, right now, we're we're getting a little sweaty, we're getting a little hot, we're doing a little work. Yeah. Might not be the funnest thing in the world, but you imagine what all is going to be grown in these gardens and how many people we're going to be helping to feed. That's pretty cool, ain't it? Yeah, it is. It is. That's the whole purpose part, I guess, you know? Yeah. That's right. Dang, boy, I tell you what, having a bunch of guys out here working, I'm sure it makes it faster. <laughs> Holy. Praise God. Yeah, we're getting this thing done. <laughs> Shooey, you boys are good. Chris, how would you inspire other people to volunteer in their community? Well, just showing up and just getting ready to, you know, I don't know, just find them opportunities like you had this opportunity today and you yeah. said yes. Just showing up and be ready to do whatever. Yeah. You, know? you could have said no, but you said yes and here you are and, and that's all it takes, right? Yep. And like I said, I think it's kind of cool that, you know, if one person was out here trying to do this job, it would be so overwhelming. But when a group of people come together and do it together, look at look how much we're getting done in no yep. time, man. This Team is awesome. Makes the dream work, huh? That's right. Uh, All right, so Jeremy, I'm fixing to show you. You ever uh, work a electric tiller before? Not an electric one, I'm drinking a gas one. Thank you, buddy. You're so I haven't had a lot of experience, but I figured out you plug it in first. Yeah. Got to plug it in first. Come on. And then after that, so. All it is, there's a button over here on the side, guys. Okay. You push that button first and then pull it back, then you're hot. The only thing of it is, it wants to jump sometimes. It's not gonna do it on me now, but okay, sometimes it, that, it wants to jump on you. You weren't ready to give it a shot? Okay. I mean, you gotta wear, yeah, if you push that in, hold it in okay. until you pull that back. Okay. That's it. There you go. Now, Jeremy? Yeah. You work down at uh, St. Benedict's? Yes, sir. And you uh, brought the guys down here today. How, why do you think it's important for you all be down here helping out? I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, it one, is nice. one organization helping another one. Yeah, it is nice for one organization to help another. Plus, it's good to get back to the community, you know? Absolutely. These guys get a lot down there. So they like to get out and get back. 
Yeah. Yeah. They, these guys volunteer a lot. Man, that's cool. What are some of the other things you all get to do? Oh, uh, well, we, we just got done helping uh, pregnant women's home move a bunch of mattresses upstairs. Uh-huh. Uh, take out old beds. And, uh, about yeah. it. Man, that's really cool. I just... I just think it's really cool, like like I said, different organizations coming together to help each other. Yeah, different organizations, it's important for them to help each other. Yeah. You know, uh, we all intertwine in one way or another. Right, that's right. And that's food that we're helping today with this garden. Man, we're going to be helping feeding thousands of people. That's and it's good. A, it's, yeah, it's a good thing. Yeah. And you know, I wasn't gifted to run no garden but john has that gift i believe god gives us all different gifts to serve but all of us can get out here and, and do a little sweat equity so to speak right yeah get out here and help out or, or learn right Good to break a sweat that's right i appreciate y'all being here we appreciate you having us all right.